Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe. Okay, let's see what else you have here. Okay, you've got a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this person is going to be significant in your life in December, the rest of December, going in through January. Let's see what else does Virgo need to know about this fire sign. Okay, looks like a Sagittarius, perhaps. Um, but there is harmony and peace that's attached to this fire sign. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what a difference. Five, uh, seven of Wands. So there's, wow, protection as well. Okay, and the three, there's an energy. Okay, so this fire sign I'm hearing um, has their dukes up for sure. Um, the, I feel like this fire sign is choosing to remain neutral. Okay, so there's neutrality here, but they are pushing back um, about learning something about you. I'm hearing, um, let me see why, what is going on? They're remaining neutral. Um, they're pushing back on some kind of a commitment. Let's see, why is this? Hmm, okay. So it looks like this fire sign is engaging with others or they are dating um, as well. Yes, I feel like this fire sign is, they're either dating someone in particular or there's some kind of an attachment with another person and I feel like they are, um, this feels a little bit like indulgence and maybe some partying or some good times, either with one particular person or just kind of spreading themselves thin. You know, my Three of Cups is always for me like this apprenticeship card where it's like, yeah, we're just going to go out for a couple hours and I'm, I'm just going to go out for a couple hours and drink up, that kind of thing. It's just an example. They could be doing that, but it's an example. Um, they're being a bit defensive about that they're trying to it looks like maintain some balance when it comes to that uh they might be telling you in december no everything's fine um you know i'm i'm just trying to have a good time i'm not looking for anything serious uh if there's any investment being made at all i'm just kind of it's light um, yeah, it's light, like it's not a full-on kind of committed thing. And why? Well, let's see what's going on with this person. They may have, um, so we do have threes here. So this person may be um, trying to maintain a relationship with one person and being involved with you in some way. And they're not really committed to either, uh, is what I feel like. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Ten of Cups. What else here? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, hmm. you know, they're in a committed relate. They're in some kind of committed relationship, this fire sign. However, um, they're, <laughs> I feel like they're not loyal. I feel like they're, they're, there's a lack of loyalty here. Yeah, okay, Ace of Wands. This person is driven by their passions, their physical passions. Um, they also might be gambling um, to, they're committed to that, that's for sure. Their passion is for money. They've got a money passion. Um, and you know, that's it's not necessarily bad, but you know, putting money over your, your intimate personal relationships, well, pretty much, <laughs> you know, leave you uh, uh, isolated or alone. But there is this strong passion for um, 
either gambling or making money or trying to hit it big okay so yeah this is a very it's a very strange way this is playing out because i do feel like this on the one hand this person is um being very committed to an ideal or a, a a relationship that they might currently be in whether that's with you or another person but there is some side stuff going on here with this person um in other words they could have a mistress or um another person uh or, or how should i say this a third party it may not necessarily be another person it could be their extreme passion for money or gambling or risk taking you know or spinning the roulette wheel okay um so if you're in a relationship with this person you might feel like you're in a third party because they prioritize this money situation or these these this wheel of fortune energy prioritizing this um and you know it's interesting because you see the mouse there on the wheel and it's like a hermit uh, or a mouse a hermit why do i say that it's like a mouse in a wheel it just it just goes nowhere just around and around and around this person is spinning their wheels and not making any progress and that's why they're so addicted to it because they're trying to have it become progressive and it's not it is in movement but it's not giving them any there's no direction it's just around and around and around you know yeah they're active <laughs> like a mouse in a wheel you know but there's they're, they're not go a hamster right a hamster in the wheel they're not going they're not going anywhere they're just spinning their wheels here with this uh situation um either they're they're gambling or or they're just out there trying to get some energy off of them and be in a committed relationship but playing around on the side is what I feel like trying to burn some energy I keep getting this king of swords here so air sign sure Libra Gemini Aquarius Sun Moon or rising um, could be Venus as well in their chart but um, yeah the king of swords is very clear and pretty much knows what they want they're they're very wise and intellectual um, oh yeah but they've got some kind of like they're really in intrigued by the magic <laughs> they're intrigued by the magic and this kind of derails them a little bit okay this fire sign um they intellectually know that magic tricks are for kids but yet they're mesmerized by it okay this gives me uh, also they're saying if this wheel was actually spinning this is like their eyes when it comes to the magic and the glitz of things um they get extremely um mesmerized yes by the magic show and the tricks and the things that they see even though their logic is like no this isn't right or this isn't real and i can't fall for this no they get trapped there's a, a sense of entrapment by the by this map they might be under some kind of spell or um they've been in, entrapped by they're entrapped by some kind of spell is what i see okay so there it's interesting because for you virgo i feel like you are or will be aware of this you can see right through um what they might be trying to tell you or reason um and it might even you might even be the one who is the the magic spell for them and i feel like for some of you there, there might be a virgo here that's like you know what um i'm not your i'm not your magic spell <laughs> i'm a real person i don't know where that's coming from i'm not your magic spell i'm a real person now judgment is here so this person i feel like is kind of torn and will be torn between the reality of things having that clarity and that wake-up call they're in a battle between that and the magical fantasies that come with um uh, these visions of grandeur that come with either the money or the passion or the opposite uh, or the the dating life or the um kind of third party stuff you know um 
their head knows and their head tells them no I, I'm committed or uh, I can't go out of uh, out of line like that but they're very easily susceptible yes they're they're very easy easily susceptible to the, the magic and they get caught up in this spell some kind of spell okay and even if it's with you Virgo they may be trying to reason in their head you know uh, no I, I have to stay uh, stable I have to stay balanced um, keep my le equilibrium in check I can't be thrown off sideways but then you might be that magic spell for them where they just completely get lost and then they reach out to you they want some kind of if you're not in contact with them they want some kind of reconciliation with you because that magic their life they're kind of bored <laughs> it's just really the message that i'm getting this person feels kind of bored in there every day and they seek after the adventure you might be the adventure or it's something else is an adventure for them that they chase after is this fire sign leo sagittarius or aries okay so yeah here comes some communication from this person sweet nothings uh love messages an apology for i'm hearing cutting you off um or prioritizing something or someone else over you look at that ten of pentacles my gosh you may hear from this person around december 25th or 24th um it may not be an apology it could just be you know hey um a love message comes in and they want to tell you that you know they're done with that lifestyle and they're they're stable and you know they they something about the holidays or about christmas um i'm there's seagulls i'm seeing seagulls sea gulls you know on the beach on the coast um by a bay on an island there's sea gulls all around okay which are kind of like the rats <laughs> they're kind of like sea what do they call them like rats they're, or is that pigeons i'm not sure it's seagulls or pigeons but it feels mostly like seagulls because they don't, really don't look the same seagulls are much bigger they may have a connection to seagulls that's what i'm trying to tell you okay so now you've got the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces showing up here oh and the king of wands oh my goodness you have someone else playing here the king of cups and the king of wands king of wands is looking directly at the king of cups but the king of cups isn't paying really king of cups is kind of spacey just kind of looking off to the side or whatever um very stoic and the, and the king of wands fire sign is very intent there's something going on here between um two masculines or two feminines um yeah that you might be in the middle of or maybe you don't even know but there is a connection here with these two Whew, nine of cups hmm well i can tell you one thing um if you know who both of these people are they they both want your wish come true for them for each one of them okay uh but they're also and i have to say this there is um there is a same sex thing happening here also okay there's also i don't it's not a bad thing it's it's in the case of um if there's infidelity there is a that the bad news is infidelity um the bad news and, and and if it's a surprise that the person that you're connected with is straight um i'm seeing that they're not okay here and there's indulgence in a same-sex kind of situation now if you're in a same-sex uh, connection with someone it's it, it's a bit of infidelity that's happening here okay yeah nine of swords Ooh, there's a little bit of anxiety and stress attached to this okay and i feel like very well the message is to pay attention to your intuition and the messages that you're getting the downloads you're receiving in regards to that particular situation you um are on the ball 
what you're intuiting, what you're feeling, what you're thinking. And I think of anything, I'm just clarifying it for you. But if you had a sense of something like this is happening, uh, trust it. Trust the process. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition.